Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Reports today circulating that Everton have won the race for Burnley defender James Tarkovsky. Um, this has been bouncing around for a couple of weeks now. Uh, Newcastle and Aston Villa heavily in for him as well, but reports... You know, a lot of journalists going with this that Everton are very confident of winning the race for the 29-year-old. He is, of course, out of contract at Burnley. His contract ends on June the 30th. He's on a break at the moment. Um, and, yeah, it looks as though he will be joining Everton. You know, he's obviously very reliable centre-back. He's played a lot of games over the last few years uh, without missing too many. And that's something that really hampered Everton last season. Yeti Mina's injuries... Um, to name him, you know, Ben Godfrey, I think, missed 12 weeks as well. So Everton did have an issue with the centre-backs last season. And it is thought that Frank Lampard wanted the leader in at the back. And uh, Tarkovsky has been seen as that. So, you know, looks as though he may well become uh, Everton's first signing of the summer. Uh, Everton today linked with another centre-back. That is Udinese's 26-year-old Brazilian, Rodrigo Bacau. He played 35 games Last season for Udinese in Serie A scored two goals. Again, talking of leaders, that's what he's he's very much mentioned in that same breath as that. Uh, Everton and Spurs credited by Calcio Mercato today with having a strong interest in taking him um, to the Premier League. So I think, obviously, €20 million Euros was mentioned for him. I think for Everton to start spending money, they're going to have to get money in first, so that one file with a wait and see for sure uh, Everton forward Richarlison made an immediate impact for Brazil against Japan uh, he came off the bench to earn his team a penalty which Neymar duly scored uh, and that was the winning goal to beat Japan 1-0 um, so yet still continuing to perform well for Brazil and he's basically played two years non-stop football Richarlison has uh, it's been unbelievable in that time but Another key uh, contribution for the Brazil side. Did, of course, score the other day uh, against South Korea. He scored the first goal in Brazil's 5-1 win and has followed it up by winning the penalty in this one. Uh, Everton fullback Nathan Patterson is in contention for Scotland's Nation League game on Wednesday against Armenia. Uh, Patterson has missed the last couple of months of the season with an ankle ligament injury. He missed Scotland's defeat against Ukraine in their World Cup qualifier, uh, World Cup playoff. But Steve Clark has said that he thinks Patterson will play against Armenia. So uh, it'd be good for him to get some minutes under his belt before having the break. And then, of course, reporting back to Everton for pre-season training. Uh, and there's more changes happening behind the scenes at Goodison Park. Uh, head of performance, Paul Grayley, has, um, will be leaving the club. Uh, this summer, after 13 years, uh, he started off as an analyst and worked his way up to head of performance. And there has been reported that he will not be replaced. The, the role will be uh, redistributed amongst Kevin Thelwell staff. So more changes can uh, happen behind the scenes at Goodison. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And if you want more videos, join us on Patreon. The link is in the description and there's a QR code on screen now. See you later.